next episode. Barbecue with Greg. First, get a goblet of rock. Okay. Not that I haven't done it in a long while. Actually got some snags from the bitches. Some unquality fucking beef. Oh yeah. It's going to require a bit more attention. It's pretty intense. That cute montage wouldn't be complete without wings. I'll give this a couple minutes and then I'll flippity flip. Alright, so I can smell something that I'm not really happy about. The colour of this smoke's not what I like to see, it's a bit blue. So let's. Yeah, there we go. Just in time. Way too much charcoal. It's only been like two minutes. So I guess to deal with that. Chicken wings on the first flip. You gotta get in there and flip them again real quick because the heat's are still really hot because I only just put the coals in. Probably give that another minute and then flip those wings again. Put the tail end in. By around the third or fourth flip, the coals have calmed down a bit and then you can leave it you know, four or five minutes before you have to flip it. So before when I say put the tail in, let me explain. What I do is I put all the coals in the middle of the barbecue and the edges with my cold spot. What I do is I put just one certain area of the wing over the coal. So that I can control where it's burning. Whew, man, this smells good. So if you just spoon these guts up. Alright. That is dripping off those bad boys. Those sausages are working a treat. That is the colour the smoke wants to be. It looks more like steam. It doesn't smell like steam. Shit. Mm. Alright, so let's have a little bit of 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 this particular one is my easy peasy lemon squeezy one. Basically, it's very, very salt. All I do is 
some margarine in curry curry salt and olive oil. I'll leave them for 30 minutes or however long you want to. But the salt does something to the skin. Breaks them down. Like if you smoke things like this and you don't put anything on them, you'll see the difference. They become really, the skin becomes shiny and, and actually kind of weird texture. Bit of salt. Does something to them. They become crispy and sort of sticky. It's so good. So fucking good. Let's flip this back, boys. drinks in, it's all part of the timing mechanism, you see. Red there the underneath, so when the fat hits those ones on top, but it's still just, just a bit warm. <laughs> get that stuff. because the top gets dry, the bottom gets like, juicy looking, like glaze look, you know, like this back row. A nice glaze on it. Probably can't see that's bad lighting. It kind of looks like a dick. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like basting spit roast, you know? Keep turning it. Now this is where Luke would say, Greg, don't take those fucking chicken wings off yet. You can. Yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna. Because I want that fucking delicious texture. <sighs> Normally with my wings, I take these in a bit of water and um, and I a good handful and I put them on the center pile of coals right at the start and I stick the wings in and it gives them a real brown, delicious looking color and flavor. And the reason I didn't do that today is because I've got sausages on there. The 
live in the dream.